you just watch the video with the calculator being powered by potatoes. Now you see that it also works with lemons. If I here, let's move this closer. If I remove an alligator clip from the penny on the lemon, the zero goes away on the calculator. If I put it back, there it reappears. Try it with the nail. And it disappears. And we'll put it back on. See what happens. I remove the red wire. It goes away. It comes back when I put it back on. And I remove the white wire. It goes away. Put it back. And it comes back on. You might say, well, how does that work? Well, in many foods, like lemons, there are acids. Uh, lemon has citric acid. Potatoes have phosphorus, phosphoric acid. And uh, when you use a battery, such as a Duracell or Energizer or any kind of battery, uh, double A, triple A, it doesn't matter, there are chemicals stored in the battery. No, there are chemicals in foods too, and we also have chemicals in our bodies. This light bulb here is a three and a half volt light bulb. The calculator is only one and a half volts. Um, the light bulb did not work with the potato or the lemons, but I did try it with these 9 volt batteries and the light bulb is not malfunctioning. It does work with the 9 volt battery. There's just not enough volts in the um, lemons or the potatoes to power the light bulb. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time on Mr. Brinkman's Science Lab Experiments. Thank you.